text to audio is finally here. Do you remember a few weeks ago when Google released their Music LM demo? Here it is. They had a bunch of different captions and the audio that accompanied those captions. Let's take a look. The audio soundtrack of an arcade game, fast paced and upbeat with catchy electric guitar riff. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so this is really cool. It was a great first paper, but you had no control over it and it's just a demo. Then a few weeks later, they released their AI test kitchen version of it where you can actually play around with it. So I said trap music with deep bass and hi hats. So I click play, it generates that, but we don't have a lot of control over it. Let's see how it sounds though. So that sounds pretty good, but again, you don't have a lot of control over it. You can't control the length. If you try to put anything in here that has like, I wanna hear a Katy Perry type song, it won't let you do it. You can download it from right here though. But now Facebook Research has released a completely open source version of text to music and it's awesome. Here it is, it's called AudioCraft. So I'm gonna show you how to install this using two methods. One, a very easy way using just Google Colab. And all you need to do is open it up and run it. And then the second way, I'm gonna show you how to get this working on your local computer. Let's go. So here's the Google Colab. I'm gonna drop the link to this in the description below. The first thing you're gonna do is run this first panel and it's going to install AudioCraft. After that's done, scroll down, and then you're gonna run this second panel, and this is going to import all of the libraries that you need to do this. Next is where you're actually gonna get the methods started. So here, you don't really need to change anything. The only thing you may want to change is the duration. It's by default set to eight seconds. And then in this last panel, this is where you're gonna write your prompts for the types of songs that you wanna hear. You comma separate each prompt, and each one will generate a song on its own. So you could see here, we have five different descriptions, and that means we're gonna get five outputs. So I already ran this. Let's listen to some of the songs. The first one is Crazy EDM, Heavy Bang. Okay, next, classic reggae track with an electronic guitar solo. So these sound really good. And again, these are completely AI generated. So that's how to do it with Google Colab. It's very simple, but let me show you how to run it on your own computer because that's where it gets exciting because you have so much more control over it. So we're gonna need a few things to do this. And the first thing I'm gonna say is I'm on a Windows 11 machine and I have an NVIDIA graphics card. And the next thing you're gonna need is Anaconda, which is a Python version management system. And really it solves all of the Python and module mismatch issues. So I highly suggest this. I know a lot of you have dealt with some of these versioning issues I have as well, and it really just solves it and makes it so much easier. So from now on, I'm gonna be using Conda. And all you need to do is a Google search for Anaconda Python and install it. It's very straightforward. And the last thing you're gonna need is the CUDA library, which you can download from NVIDIA. And the link is right here, developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA dash downloads. You come here, you select your machine, and then you download it. You download the toolkit, you install it, and then you're ready to go. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a new folder. I named it Music Gen 2. You can name it anything you want, just know where it's located and navigate to that folder from your terminal. And remember, open up the Anaconda prompt. That is different from the regular terminal. So we're gonna do conda create dash dash name my env python 3.10.11. So there's two things going on here. One we're creating a new Anaconda environment so that all of our modules, all of our installs go to the same place and we know we're not gonna have any version issues. Next, we're installing this specific version of Python because that is the one that I found works with CUDA and all of the other AI libraries that we need to run this. So hit enter. And for me, I'm getting a warning because I already have an environment that exists, but we're gonna remove it. You're not gonna see this. Next, it's gonna ask me if I wanna install all of these packages. I'm gonna click yes. And there we go. So our new environment is spun up. Now we have to activate it. So I'm going to copy that conda activate my env and you could tell it's activated because it says my env right here. Next, we're going to install all of the machine learning and AI libraries that we need to get this going. I have conda install PyTorch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio. We specify the PyTorch CUDA that we need to get it running with my GPU and then we're going to hit enter. And again, I'm going to put all of this together in a file and I'm going to link it in the description below. All right. So we're asked, do we want to proceed? Yes, we do. Okay. It's done. Next, while I was getting this all set up, I ran into some issues and I found that these next three lines of code 
are the things that fixed it. So just follow along and hopefully they fix it for you. First, we're gonna pip install Xformers. And this is just a library that we need for the text to music. Hit enter. Next, we're gonna install the AudioCraft library. Pip install AudioCraft, enter. All right, that's done. The last thing we need right now is pip install IPython. And I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. Next, I wrote a little script to make sure that CUDA is available and we have the right version. I'm gonna drop this script in the description below as well, but let's run it. It's called checker.py. So we're gonna say Python checker.py, enter. So this is what we should see. We have the Torch version with CUDA and the Torch CUDA is available Boolean, and it's true. Next, I took the script from the Google Colab and I modified it to work locally. I'm gonna share this script. It's gonna be in the description like everything else. I did have to make some adjustments here. One of which was at the end of the script, the original version used something that only worked in Jupyter Notebooks to output the audio. So what I did was I converted that to actually download the audio locally so you could play it. Now, I didn't know how to do that. And the awesome thing was I took the errors I was seeing, I passed it into ChatGPT and I just said, what do I do to fix this? And it rewrote the script and gave it to me. So I really still use ChatGPT as a coding helper to this day. So here's the script, let's run it. Python script.py, enter. Now you're gonna get this error, no module named Triton. Triton is an open AI language, but it is not needed. It's not available on Windows and we don't need it anyway. So you could just ignore that error. But if it's working, we should see something soon. That is what we expect to see. And it's actually working. If I open up NZXT cam, we could see that the GPU is going burr. It's being used. So our GPU is now powering this music creation. I find it so awesome. Now I have noticed that when I'm recording video, I'm recording my screen and I'm running these GPU intensive programs, uh, they sometimes run really slow. So if I find that, I'm just gonna end this program and then I'm gonna show you the music that was created when I wasn't recording the video. And if we switch back to our monitor, we could still see we're only at 35% GPU usage. Okay, so this is what happened last time. Right around when it got to the halfway mark, it started running really slow and I noticed that the GPU usage jumped to 100%. And it's gonna go really slow right now and I don't wanna wait for that. So. I know it works after this. I'm gonna quit out of here so we don't have to wait. And then let me show you the output from when I wasn't doing video. So here are some of the outputs that I have. Let's listen. This is audio zero, which is crazy EDM heavy bang. And I have it set to 30 second duration. Pretty good. Let's listen to another one. This is classic reggae track with an electronic guitar solo. This sounds fantastic. And one last one, rock with saturated guitars. And that's it. Now we have complete control over the music we create and it's local to our computer. You could play around with it, have fun. Let me know what you create. If you have any troubles getting it set up, jump into my Discord, I'll try to help you out.